Hey there, good evening, and welcome to Prog Monster. My name is Murph. I am the host of this show, a show dedicated to progressive rock and other forms of rock music. So we're back here on day 11 for my favorite albums from 1975. February 11th, album number 11. And this album is The Eagles, One of These Nights. I do apologize for not having a prop. I, was, I could have swore I owned this album. And I may have at one point bought the CD, but I cannot find it anywhere. Um, I was swore I had it. I, I know I had it in vinyl, but I was sure I replaced it. But I may have bought a different Eagles album thinking I got that one. So it's, it's at least a possibility. So anyways, enough of that. Um, so this album was released uh, June the 10th, 1975. Um, recorded at Criteria Studios in Miami and Record Plant in Los Angeles. It's about 43 minutes in length or so. Bill Siminski, Siminsk, sorry, Bill Siminsk uh, is the producer and it's on the Asylum label. So pretty, pretty decent album. Uh, it wasn't my first Eagles album, of course. My first one was The Long Run. And then I started moving backwards. I got, went back to Hotel California and then back to this album, which came out in 1975, of course. And this album is uh, kind of uh, a poppy, kind of a country western st sound to it in a lot of ways. It does have some rocking songs on it, but mostly it's very poppy and very uh, country westernish. But the tracks that made the radio the radio hits are all like among the best uh songs on the album sometimes that is the way it is with albums sometimes it's like the long run where most of the stuff i like never made the radio so but on this particular album it's not it's not the case um there are at least four four tracks on here that i like quite a bit one of these nights which is the first track uh don hanley whose voice i really like quite a bit um, does the singing here. Too Many Hands. Um, Messer is doing the, the vocals on this one. And The Lying Eyes, of course, which is another great track. Uh, that's a Frey uh, uh, song. And then you've got um, Take It to the Limits, another Messner song. So yeah, like, those are the big ones for me on this. The rest of them tend to be a little bit too country-ish. Although I do like Journey to this to the Sorcerer, that's also a good one too. But that's more of an instrumental, so yeah, I'm not big on instrumentals, but I didn't mind that one. So a pretty solid album. I, there isn't really any songs on here that I don't like. Um, and maybe the worst that you could say is that they're not, there's some that aren't so memorable. That's about as bad as it gets here. Most of the, most of the stuff I like quite a bit. Um, Pretty, pretty solid cast of characters on here too. Uh, Glenn Fry on vocals, guitars, piano, electric piano, and harmon harmonic har harmonium. Don Henley, of course, vocals, drums, percussion, and tabla. Tabla, yeah, tabla. Um, Bernie Leiden, or Leiden, if you prefer, vocals, guitars, banjo, mandolin, and pedal steel as well. Uh, Randy Meisner. Uh, vocals and bass guitar, Don Felder, vocals, guitar, and slide guitar. And then there's a bunch of additional people that are on here as well. There's David Bromberg on fiddles, the Royal Martin Orchestra on strings, Ab Abney, Abby, or Abney, Abby Gloughton on synthesizers, Jim A. Norman on piano, uh, he also conducted the string part of the uh, the album as well. I'm just going to move it down just slightly, and I hope it'll work. It did. Sid Sharp on is a concert master, and the Eagles string arrangement is also on this. So there's uh, quite a bit of uh, background kind of material on the album. It it it's it's a very full sounding album. Pretty pretty good production on it. I I like it quite a bit. It comes in here now. It was actually about four or five spots higher. Would have came out about four or five spots from now. But some of the albums I moved ahead of it just have more longevity, or are newer uh, albums that have um, moved up for me. And it's not that this is a bad album. It's just like I said, there's quite a few stuff albums. If you look up my list here, there's about four or five albums here that have moved in and taken over some spots in the last year. 
that would have uh, would have pushed this album up higher. But still, nevertheless, a very good album by an exceptional group of musicians. I like a lot of their stuff. Um, I don't listen to it as much. It's kind of moved away from that element, I guess. And But still, a very good album. Well worth listening to. So there you have it. This is... Uh, you know, if you like this, please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. Um, we'll be back with yet another one on Sunday. Another more, another uh, classic rock album for me from 1975. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. So we will see you in the morning when this comes out. Take care. Bye.